new study says kidney stones are nearly twice as common now as they were in the early 1990s. In fact, one in 10 people will have kidney stones in their lifetime. Here to talk about the causes and the treatment, Dr. Erica Lambert, a urologist at UConn Health Center. Doctor, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me today. So let's talk about kidney stones. What are they exactly and what causes them? So kidney stones are little minerals that form in the kidney and what typically causes kidney stones is just not drinking enough fluid. Okay, so that's basically what you have to do. Let's talk about most stones, this is interesting, form between ages of 20 and 50. That's the age range. That's exactly and right. And men are affected three times more than women. Why is that so? That is true. You know, we don't really know why and what the predilection is for men over women. Mm -hmm. But actually now that... Um, women are, are having more common medical problems as men, like obesity and diabetes, mm -hmm. women are being affected more commonly okay. than they were before. So talk to us about the symptoms, so that way we're aware of what we should look out for. So the symptoms can't be missed. Once you have a kidney stone, you know you have it. Typically patients get um, pain in the, in the back area, more on the side, and they may have um, blood in their urine. It could be a little bit red or pink. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they even feel nauseous and feel like they have to vomit. Okay, so you're experiencing this right away, obviously. Right You've away. You've got to let you your doctor that. know. And the reason yes. why is because you were talking about the size of the kidney stone. I said, That's how right. can we treat it? Do you have to always wait for it to pass? Right. But you're saying if it gets to a certain point, yeah, sometimes when they get bigger or above about a half a centimeter, um, it's very hard to get them to pass. So if you think about it, if you have a six millimeter stone coming down a three millimeter tube, oh. you can imagine that can get stuck and then it Just can cause a lot of pain. Just thinking about it, it seems so incredibly painful. Yes, a lot of people. <laughs> so after you have kidney stones, it's important to note that you are more likely to have them again. So everyone at home, of course, we want to know how can we prevent them? And you're saying it's as simple as? As just drinking more fluid. Um, and the way you really know if you're drinking enough fluid is if your urine is clear to to a little bit yellow. Mm -hmm. But um, we really want to focus on preventing kidney stones, especially once you have a kidney stone, you're never going to want to have it again. Yeah. So the most important thing is to drink a lot of fluid, decrease your salt intake, mm -hmm. and then when you come, if you have a kidney stone and you come to the University of Connecticut, we can really focus on preventing by doing some tests and really specialize in how you personally are forming these stones. Okay, great information you gave us there. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming in. Thank you in. very much for having me.